Hello everyone. In this video, let's see how to create page object model using Copilot in seconds. Right? We are going to use Copilot's custom chat mode feature in order to do this. Think about it. If we just provide a playwright test name alone to Copilot and Copilot separates the page elements and create page methods and also changes the test file accordingly. It follows the page object model completely in seconds. It can make the change. Believe me, it is possible. Follow the video. Let's deep dive in. Before going through this, let's understand what is page object model is. For example, how page object model works, right? Each web page in a UI is represented as a page class. For example, I have three web pages means login, some features page and then some verification pages there means. So for these each web pages is represented as a page class. You will create separate page class for this. Okay. And these page class contains its elements and actions. Okay. I mean, what will happen is in the page class alone, we will get all the elements and for the elements respective actions will be we will write which will make the test more maintainable and reusable the key concepts are only one class per page i mean each web page gets its own class file that class file will contain elements like whatever is available in the web page right like button text field links radio buttons checkbox etc and the actions on the page elements like click typing on the text box and selecting and radio button select option so that will only, I mean, these things are available in the page class. Okay. The main thing is it's like everything about the place lives in a single place, the elements and its methods. Okay. Uh, you can think it like a page object model is like a creating blueprint for each web page in our application. Like for each web page, what are all the elements are available and what are all the methods we are going to perform on the element. So all of those things will be available in the page object model in the page class. Okay. So the benefits is it helps create a separation like test logic will be there in the test and all the page element interactions and the page elements will be available in a page class. Okay. The benefit is when there is a change in UI, developer is making some change and if there is a change in any one of the page elements, right, we only need to update the page class alone. Okay. We can update only the page file. We don't need to update the multiple test files. That is not required. This is the advantage of page object model. Now let's go back to the topic, how to do this in seconds, right? So for that only we are going to use Copilot's custom chat mode feature, right? How to do that is go to open chat, Copilot chat. Then in the modes, we can see agent ask and edit modes, right? I have added this page object model custom chat mode. So how to do that is click on configure modes and enter some new mode like let me add something like bomb right this is a new custom mode file and use the user data folder then let me add bomb and uh, press enter okay so once you enter this itself you will get this file pom.chatmode.md in the same way i have created this page object mode uh, dot chat mode.md file also okay now let's concentrate on this file so here what we can do is you have to provide the description and the purpose of this file. So what we need to do with this chat mode, right? The purpose is like we can enter it like uh, think like you are a playwright test generator. Right. We can give whatever is required. I mean what we need to do, right? I will just give you only the playwright test name and then you have to do all these things okay now with the tools how you can add the tools is go back to the chat mode and if you select the custom chat mode we have created right here we will select this i mean this option will come configure tools so once you select that you can select everything like built in so whatever is built in right everything you can select and we can verify that um that difference is necessary, code base is necessary, fetch is necessary, test fields are necessary, repo it has to find, it has to open the browser and all, run notebook, it's not required. So whatever is necessary, we can select. So those are all the tools, right? So tools will be generated, description we can add and the purpose also we can add. 
and then now let me show you the chat mode file which i have created okay so this is the chat page object model dot chat mode file which i have created so what this tells is tools how i explained it like that i have added and description i have written this you are a playwright automation test expert and you will help me to create and maintain page object models okay what it will do is it is based on the existing playwright test file so i will give only the playwright test name and you will find the test extract the page elements then update the page class so whatever is our goal right we will just provide the test name and playwright will separate the page elements and it will update the page methods and also the test file right it will follow the page object model and it will reuse the existing things like it won't uh, it's not a duplicate thing it will reuse the existing page elements if available and create the new page methods right it won't be duplicate so it's a clean maintainable code and purpose also we can explicitly say this is what i needed okay so once we do that our chat mode is completed now we have to test it right how it works so for that what i'm going to do is so under our test folder we have a example dot spec for already right so if you see this already follows a page object model so now if you wonder how page object model is right so we have a i have this home page right this home page i have created a class for that and all the elements this dot element is equal to the element is given here okay then for each element we can create a page methods also so to in order to click this get started link i have a method okay to get the title i have a method so the page methods whatever the interaction you will do with the page right so the page elements and page methods will be created in this page class and in the test class it will be imported the home page class right the page class will be imported then the object of the home page will be created then the methods in the home page will be used here right this is how page object model works now this one i have done it manually now what we are going to do is we will let the ai do the job right so in order to test this let me okay let me uh, record on new test okay i'm clicking on record new so this is opening me a web page so i'm going to navigate to https colon double slash playwright.dev okay once i navigated click on get started button then click on the link how to install playwright then uh, search for this any playwright at the rate latest then navigate to what is installed then again a set for playwright.config.es then click on setting up ci okay so this is my test involving some of the pages okay now let me stop that let me close the browser okay so this is the test let me name it like playwright test Playwright test POM. Okay. Now let me copy paste this test, cut it, and place it in the existing file itself. Okay. I don't need the recorded one, so I'm just deleting it. So this is my test. If you see, first my two tests like has title and get started already follows a page object model, but this newly recorded test is not following a page object model. So this is what we are gonna let a do it okay start so open the chat select the custom chat mode page object model then just give the playwright test name okay and click enter now see the magic playwright is working on that okay it is analyzing the file it is looking at my existing page file right now it is looking at the elements and methods some things are new so it created the page elements okay now it will create the as you can see right it will create the page methods also now it is done it has created a page elements and page methods now it has to update the test also right so that's what it's gonna do it's gonna find the test and it updated the test also you can see right the test also is updated so it does the job so we can keep this and now let's look at the files and let's look at the test the page class the object is created 
and for each of the things right it has created it followed the page object model and my test is changed to follow the page object model pattern right now for expect await is not necessary let's run it once and see how it works okay now this test is following a page object model it is passed this is way cool right it just converted my record a test into like a framework it followed a page object model right as we can see it separated the page elements and it gave me the page methods and it changed in the test file also so in the future when we create more test right we can just record it and we can let AI do the job AI can just separate the page elements create the page methods and it will change our test also to follow the page object model pattern so this is how we can use the copilot's custom chat mode to create page object model to make our test follow page object model in seconds hope the video is useful i'll see you in another video